Santa Barbara Baker here with my homemade sourdough pizza margarita baking up on the baking seal. I have my naturally fermented sourdough pizza all stretched out on our pizza peel here. Check out my dough videos and recipes up on SantaBarbaraBaker.com. I also have some stretching videos how to get you here with a mostly round pizza. Pizza Margarita, the OG, the queen of all pizzas. It's my favorite pizza of all time. And I would just say that's about cheese pizzas in general. you got to start with the Danks, the Hetties, the homemade tomato sauce. I got the world's best tomato sauce here. The recipe's up on the blog at SantaBarbaraBaker.com. You know, going gently as you're dumping it onto the, on your, um, a stretched pizza dough here trying not to splash everywhere like I did but I was all good I got it on the good part of the pizza where we want some sauce so we'll live you can always just take a little pastry brush or something if you if you do it splash it on somewhere try and clean that off importantly you would want to get it off of the pizza peel because that'll make your pizza stick and that's when you start having a bad time are really are you know the world best tomato sauce here what it was that mean what is it well, it's the best tomatoes rolled up with some salt, the super headies, one ladle full of sauce. That looks good to me. I like to go a little lighter on the sauce. Feel free to hit it a little heavier. You want a good amount on there to make sure that that dough gets weighed down a bit so it's a puff up as we bake. Now, basil, this might be controversial to some, but I like going with the basil directly onto the sauce on the pizza before the bake. That really is the OG pizza margarita way, but feel free to do as you please. Add it before like I'm doing, add it a little after, that's super dinks. Or, you know, just skip it before, hit it with only the freshies afterwards. I know a lot of people are into that. It's bomb too, but you know, I'm keeping it simple here and OG. We're just gonna go with a generous amount of basil here. You know, probably the super OG, they didn't do as many as this, but I like that basil, lots of it in every slice. So we're hitting it nice and we're doing that pretty big cheese when we're firing on the baking steel. I like to kind of break off if I have slices here and put them a little bit thicker maybe you know, like a little bit, kind of like a little ball here, like the size of a, you know, let's say a ping pong ball going around the top of the pizza. And that just helps it for, you know, we want some browning on the cheese, but we want most of the browning on the pizza itself. I like the look of a nice milky, fresh mozzarella and doing so with like, you know, a little bit bigger chunks like this should help prevent it from fully browning up quickly, quickly and giving you that Classic pizza margarita look, but we're baking here on the baking seal inside. It's a little longer bake, but we can do what we can to kind of preserve that kind of OG look. This pizza's topping up really nice to me. Got my nice little fake moth balls because I was starting with some slices here, so but we made it into more of a ball form. Looking good to me. Gonna hit it to finish it off with the California extra virgin olive oil. Always use the freshest oil you can find. Doing a nice couple glugs on there. Have my baking steel preheating. I got the broiler on. I snapped that on right as I start stretching here. We wanna get that steel really hot. We're gonna get this thing loaded up. Take it for a bake. It's pizza margarita. It's pizza margarita, pizza time. Have my pizza margarita all ready to load on the baking steel. I have the broiler cranked on. We're gonna go right onto the steel. Launch looks like it went pretty good. We're gonna get the timer going here. I like the soul bake, but today we're gonna start the timer. We're gonna shoot for around two minutes with the broiler on. Go in for a little turn there, make sure it bakes evenly. It's pizza margarita, pizza time. We're about almost we're almost two minutes in. I'm gonna go in with my terrain peel, give it for a turn with the broiler still on. Wow, I see some leopardy popping up in there. Always pretty sweet with the baking steel. But a little turn here, because I noticed you can see there that part of my broiler seems to run a little bit hotter. Gonna close this back up, give it another about 30 seconds, turn the broiler alarm off, turn it back down to 500, let it finish up. Chris bud, it's baking steel, it's baking steel, pizza margarita, pizza time. We're about two minutes and 30 seconds in. I'm gonna go turn the oven down to 500, give it a spin here. It seemed like it was running pretty hot. Look at that, that's baking up really nice. Almost looks like more like a wood-fired oven look, which is kind of possible in here, even with the baking steel. 
gonna leave this thing on 500, let it finish off baking through, crisping up. Pizza margarita's looking great, it's pizza time. We're a little over five minutes on the bake with our pizza margarita. I just took a peek, it's looking really good. I'm gonna pull it out now, we'll take a look. The pizza margarita, the queen of all pizzas, the fire mouse on the baking seal. This thing is looking fire most to the fire most to me. It brings up pretty dank here. On to the cooling rack here. We always let our pizzas hang out 20 seconds a minute. Let it cool down a little bit. Let that crust set. We want a nice crispy bottom. Slice this thing up. We'll take it for a taste. It's pizza margarita. It's pizza margarita. Pizza time. The homemade sourdough pizza margarita, the queen of all pizzas, the fire most, the super dank's pizza margarita. How could you not love it? Fresh tomato sauce, basil, cheese, got the cow's milk mozzarella here, smelling so delicious. Baked up really nice on the baking seal. This is my sourdough recipe that's available up on santabarberbaker.com. That's a spot to find all the recipes. This is a five minute bake on the baking seal. I start it really hot with that broiler cranking. Go about two minutes till we get some almost this kind of like leoparding look, similar like you would get from a wood fired oven outside on your uni, rock box, whatever you have. Or we can do it inside too on the baking seal. It's such a great product. Cook bakes up, I think it's the best bang for the buck overall. Cook up delicious pizza like this. Pick it up, look at that. Look at the bottom on this thing. That looks great to me. It's like, almost looks like a wood-fired oven. Like it's always impressive what this oven can put out. Whole structure, check it out. Looking dank today. Overall, this looks like a really delicious pizza margarita. You can smell the aroma of that basil that cooked into the sauce. So dank, let's get into this thing. So delicious. What is not, what can you love about a pizza margarita? It's the queen, it's the real OG for good reason. It's absolutely delicious. The basil, the tomato, the cheese, all on the super dank, natty sourdough crust. That's what we're baking up here today. So bomb, I love this one. Check out the rise on this thing. Looks really nice, tender. It's got all things going on. A little bit of that hybrid New York, you know, Neapolitan style. You can't do real true Neapolitan really indoors on the steel, but you can make delicious pizza. Check out the recipe up on SantaBarbaraBaker.com. That's where you can find all the delicious pizza recipes. Follow me and check me out on Instagram. I'm Santa Barbara Baker on there. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. Please share with your friends. I appreciate all of you who share the Santa Barbara Baker love. I hope you keep dreaming about pizza. Living that pizza pie passionate lifestyle, or at least, you know, dreaming about thinking about pizza as much as you can. Bake up a pizza margarita, it'll make your life better. I love you all. One love.